Fryer. It looks like, Sam, that this weekend would be a good time to get out and about. I think so. Probably not as much of this kind of sky greeting you out in the mountains. So this was actually a cold air funnel that happened over near Red Wing. So just out towards some of the mountain areas. And here's the deal. Whenever there's kind of a general area of low pressure and we have some stronger storms, this happens a lot near the mountains in particular. Big spins can create little spins. And so had this touched the ground, technically would have been a tornado, but atmosphere just wasn't really ready for that. But we still did drop a funnel out of some of those storm clouds. And again, that was over near the Red Wing area. So today we have a severe weather threat in the plains, but tornadoes are not really the focal point here. The cloud bases are a little too up high. So the bottom of the cloud, a little too far away from the ground. We think one and a half inch hail and about 60 to 70 mile per hour winds are probably the biggest threats that we will look for in the plains. If we see severe storms generates, uh, they're going to be somewhere between bent, Prowers or Baca County. So newest modeling is a little bit more around Baca County for some of the bigger storms. Temps today will generally be in the 40s outside, 47 Briargate, 45 in Woodland Park, about 48 at the Springs Airport, 51 in Canyon City, 51 in Trinidad, 40s from Ride down the road to Walsenburg, and 50s out east. Pollen report will have some wind today that's going to knock the pollens around. The tree pollens are kind of in the moderate range, but let's go ahead and talk about the extended forecast. You've been waiting to wash the car, a little worried, a little bothersome from you because of the snow and the rain the last couple weeks. Well, we've got drier weather the next two days, maybe a couple scattered storms on Saturday. That actually brings us into the forecast here going forward. Highs today are pretty toasty out there with sunshine, 80 degrees in the springs and then mid to upper 80s in Pueblo. Now going into the extended forecast, what we're going to see are really warm air today through tomorrow and then actually on Saturday, we're going to kick it back down to 70 degrees, but we will allow for some storms. Now tomorrow there could be a storm chance, but the modeling is struggling a little bit with Friday and then we are going to be near 80 on Monday and kick it back to the mid 80s next week. Pueblo, pretty hot the next few days. There's only a weak storm chance on Saturday and then when we move ourselves through the week, Monday, Tuesday, we will keep more wind in the forecast. So a little bit windier and a little bit warmer next week. No fire concerns yet. Canyon City, we are looking at some nice warm weather in the next few days, just windy. Could get an isolated storm on Saturday in Woodland Park. There's a couple better storm chances on Friday and Saturday. I would say Saturday in particular and maybe something lurking out near Tuesday.